All right, so you have a 78 year old former nun, a team of protesters and a secured nuclear facility. Today we're learning more about how these seven activists actually broke into the Kings Bay submarine naval base in South Georgia. As First Coast News reporter Eric Alvarez explains, they say it's easier than you might think. The submarine naval base has a perimeter fence with barbed wire a lot like this one. It also has guards at every gate, but those protesters between the ages of 55 and 78 years old still found a way inside and court proceedings suggest it may have been as simple as this. And the final affidavit that I have reads and alleges that you did unlawfully destroy the perimeter security fence, multiple security lights and defaced government property using canned spray paint. Do you understand that charge, sir? Yeah. The Kings Bay Plowshares activists charged with trespassing and interfering with government property in a Camden County court after being caught with bolt cutters and spray paint near vandalized areas of the Kings Bay Submarine Naval Base in South Georgia. We come in peace. The activists shared this video hours before infiltrating the base, which according to the Navy's website, hosts six ballistic missile and two guided missile submarines. The threat of their use as well as their very possession is to be firmly condemned. A source familiar with the activist tells First Coast News a person can easily enter the base from the North Causeway Road or the golf course. I asked the Public Information Office if it was aware of or addressing any weak points on the north side or anywhere else for that matter. A spokesperson says the base does not discuss security capabilities now or at any time and says no submarine or military asset was ever threatened by the plowshares activists. Now, if you're wondering about the name, it's from a Bible verse in the book of Isaiah that reads, they shall beat their swords into plowshares. One nation shall not raise sword against another, nor shall they train for war ever again. Now, the plowshares movement claims to have infiltrated other military installations in the past, including a naval base in the state of Washington and another military base in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. Eric Alvarez, First Coast News, on your side.